it's Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I've got the best budget survival foods you can get from your local grocery store. There are still a lot of really new preppers out there that are just getting started or haven't been going that very long and they still have a lot of questions and I think it's great for all of us, even people that have been prepping for a while, to go over some of the basics. And a lot of prepping items and survival foods, there are quite a few you can get right from your local grocery store. They don't have to come in a number 10 can and these foods are going to last a very, very long time. So you can stock up on them and if you don't need them for an emergency, you can definitely eat through them in your regular rotation without any of them going bad. So the first thing I wanted to start with is rice. Rice is so inexpensive. You can really get a ton of rice for really cheap, like 20 pounds of rice for $8.50 at our local grocery stores. And you can, um, white, long grain white rice is going to last the longest and you can just store it in an airtight container. I vacuum seal my rice and keep them in five gallon buckets and then I keep a half gallon jar on the counter in the kitchen that we eat out of. And this rice right here is rice I purchased in 2015. It is just as fresh as the day I bought it. It works perfectly fine. Rice is not gonna go bad on you. So um, we're still eating through the 2015 rice, so. It lasts and lasts and lasts, but rice is a really great one. And the next, um, I would say, if you're not a huge rice fan, quinoa is another one, and this has some protein in it, and this is another one to keep in the house. I really like this. It's not that expensive. It was a couple dollars for a pound, um, but it does have a little bit of protein in it, and it's got some... Uh, some good stuff in here so uh, I would definitely say this is another one that's pr fairly inexpensive and easy on the budget to be able to stock in your pantry the next item I think is really important is oatmeal oatmeal is so versatile you can get a couple of pounds of oatmeal like two pounds usually for about three dollars oatmeal goes a really long way you can make cereal granola you can bake it make cookies you can do tons of stuff, oatmeal pie, the, it's limitless what you can do, it's really, your imagination is the limit. Oatmeal is great for you, it's really healthy and it's super inexpensive and you can really mix it up so many different ways that I think this is a must for the pantry. The next one I think is really great is pasta, any kind of pasta, noodles, it, elbow macaroni, whatever kind of pasta. It stores for a really long time. Um, if you keep it in airtight food grade buckets, you don't have to worry about it. Or you can keep it in glass jars. You can vacuum seal pasta. Uh, you do want to be careful if you're vacuum sealing pasta in bags because it can be sharp and it does poke holes. I have had that happen in mylar bags and in vacuum seal bags. So um, I like a food grade bucket, uh, airtight food grade bucket to keep my pasta in and then I don't have to worry. I know it's airtight and we keep a little bit in our regular rotating pantry that we're constantly eating out of but we keep a lot in the other pantry. Pasta is not going to go bad on you. It will last and last and last along with the oats, the rice, the quinoa. Those are going to last in your pantry. So you don't have to worry about them going bad. The next thing on my list that I think is a great budget item is beans. You can get all different kinds of beans, black beans, navy beans. You can get 15 bean soups. There are tons of different kinds of beans that you can get and they are a wonderful source of protein and fiber. They're really inexpensive. They're super easy to cook, and they, I think they're a must-have in your pantry. And if you're saving money, 
if you're trying to do this on a budget, beans are definitely a great item because it also has the protein in it along with the fiber and carbs and things that you need. And you can mix it with your rice, you can mix it with pasta, you can mix it in your quinoa. There's so many ways to go with beans. Make bean salads, anything. You can just cook them and eat them plain. The next thing along with beans would be lentils. Lentils are, they're going to be in your grocery store right near your beans. And these have the same kind of proteins and stuff in them. They are super good for you, but these are a lot easier to cook. You don't have to pre-soak them. They don't take eight hours to cook in a Dutch oven. They are going to cook up pretty fast. And just in water, you can add pasta sauce. You can add so many different things to these as well to make them a nice, tasty meal. And these, again, like beans, are gonna last indefinitely in your pantry when stored properly. Another item I think is really important when you're budget shopping is meats. Meats can tend to get a little pricey, but there are a bunch that are really inexpensive, like canned chicken, canned tuna, um, these hams, these run about $4 for these hams. It's a whole pound, and if you use this, if you are creative with this, you can really stretch this out. I can feed six people two meals with this one pound of ham. Uh, you can cut it up, put it in, uh, fry it, put it in scrambled eggs, put it in casseroles. You can make stir fries with it. There are tons of different things. You can just slice it and fry it in a pan. You can do tons of stuff with this. There are lots of options with it and just get creative with these items. Mix it with some of your other stuff and you're gonna have, you can make some super fabulous meals um, even out of just a little bit of canned, canned meats and stuff are really gonna dress up all these other items. All together, I think these are necessities in the budget pantry. So the next thing that I like to keep on hand are canned fishes, mackerel, salmon, herring, sardines, things like that. These are dirt cheap. You can get this stuff at the Dollar Tree. You can make a fish chowder with this and it goes a really long way. You can make uh, fish patties, fish casserole. There's just so many things you can do with it. And you know, like the herring and stuff, you could just pop this open and chew it right out of the can. Um, the sardines, things like that, and they are really inexpensive. Sometimes you can find them under a dollar, but you can always find most of them at the Dollar Tree for just a buck. And that's a great inexpensive protein for your pantry. The next thing I think is important to keep in your pantry are canned soups, because you've got, um, easy, quick, open, and eat it. These are like instant meals. If you, you can heat them up, that's great, but if you don't have a way to heat it up, you can pop this open and eat it right as it is. And these are dirt cheap. If you watch, they'll clear out like certain flavors. I got a bunch of these uh, chicken corn chowder soups for 15 cents at Walmart when they were on clearance a few months back. Uh, they just cleared out this particular, they were clearing out just certain flavors of soups. They're not going to carry them in our store anymore. And if you watch for those items, you can really get these for next to nothing and stock your pantry right up. All right. The next thing, um, with your meats and stuff like that, I have found that your meats are going to last well beyond the best buy date. The USDA requires them to put an expiration date on here and honestly as long as your can is intact, it's not rusted, bulging, leaking, weird in any way, as long as it looks like it did when you stored it, I have never had a can of meat go bad. That's one thing that just, it doesn't seem to ever go bad, any of these things, your fish, your meat, um, even if they are a few years over the date, they're still open them, smell them. If they smell good and they look good, they're good. They're not going to make you sick just because the date says so on the bottom. And a lot of foods are that way. The best buy date on the item is the item is guaranteed to be fresh and good by that day. After that day, it may lose a little bit of nutrients 
it you know something may change in it the color may change a little bit but that food is still good it doesn't mean it's gone bad so you don't want to just chuck everything out that expired yesterday or before uh, check it because that food is probably still good a lot of things will last well beyond the date um, I just popped this open today I found this in the back of the cabinet this has an expiration date of 2016 so this is four years past the date I just opened it I smelled it it smells like peanut butter it smells really good you can see nobody has touched inside of there there's nothing wrong with this peanut butter tastes like peanut butter if your peanut butter goes rancid or anything with oils in it if it goes rancid you are gonna know it when you open it oh my lord but this expiration date literally is November 10th 2016 see if I can get a picture of this in there for you and there's nothing wrong with this I'm gonna make granola bars with it and we're all gonna eat it it tastes like peanut butter smells like peanut butter still peanut butter um, I don't usually let things fall behind in the cabinet but it does happen things get pushed around the kids get looking for stuff you might have something fall behind a cabinet roll underneath something you might not know it and the next thing you know it's five years old and you're like oh dear lord <laughs> but it's still good um, you don't want to throw that stuff out. If I opened this and it smelled funky, I would have chucked it. I wouldn't keep it. I wouldn't even try it if it smelled funky. But where it looked good, it smelled good, it was still completely sealed. There was nothing wrong with it. That's the reason I wanted to open it and give it a shot. Because no sense to throw it out if it's still good. And let's see. The next item that I think is pretty inexpensive and a must must in the pantry are spices any kind of spices you like if you like garlic and onion make sure you have plenty of that I think those are staples and you must have them we love crushed red peppers smoked paprika we keep giant jars of cinnamon in the pantry um, because if you get down to eating ham rice and beans you're going to want to mix it up. If you're going to eat rice and beans three days in a row, you're going to want to add stuff to that. And these will come in so handy. And you can get inexpensive store brands, pretty good size ones for a dollar at Walmart, your local grocery store, the Dollar Tree. Um, we have a local salvage store that buys liquidation and closeout stuff. And all the food is the expiration dates still have a while on them so I buy a lot of spices there we get them anywhere between 10 cents to a dollar and I think it is just a great way to go and there's no reason not to have a good selection of the spices you like on hand and one more thing that's pretty inexpensive that we like to keep on hand in the pantry I think it's really budget friendly are bags of dried fruit we like to keep apricots raisins cranberries things like that all of those dried fruits dried mangoes they're gonna last quite a while in the pantry not I don't know if they're gonna last four years past the expiration date like peanut butter is definitely but they're going to last quite a while. They have a decent shelf life on them to begin with. And as long as they're sealed and not opened, they should be good for quite some time. Um, I always do the smell test first. Taste a little bit. If it looks good, it smells good, it tastes okay, then it's okay to eat. I have eaten a lot of stuff that is way past the expiration date. And I'm not telling you that you know eat everything but test it definitely check and see if it's good don't throw it away just because the date says it expired in 2016 these things are still plenty usable there's nothing wrong with them and they just have to put these dates on and they can only set those dates out so far um, for these kind of items so I would definitely check the way it looks the way it smells give it a little taste 
one tiny little taste if it's bad is not going to kill you. Um, might upset your stomach a little bit, but you know not to eat any more of it real quick. So that is it for this video. These items are all pretty inexpensive. They all have really good nutritional value to them, and I think they're really important to have in the pantry, especially if you're prepping on a budget. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.